Hello everyone, Zane Lionheart here, and we're back with another up-to-date house tour of my free company. Since um, the patch 3.3, I managed to procure a mansion for our free company, which I almost lost due to um, congestion the patch went live. So I managed to run all the way across the ward to pick up this masterpiece. And uh, yeah, I'm very proud of it, and I hope you like it too. So let's start off with the front lawn, and then we'll work our way inside. So first off, I used the Glade hedge for our fence. There's our little signpost, letting you guys know that we have things for sale. Here is my retainer behind the desk of the house. Here we have our little campfire where we usually hold our frequent meetings under the nice glow of the Druvanian moat. Over here we have our garden, which I am currently growing um, garlic gestures, little minions. I've been trying to um, get jute seeds in the process, so let's grow in there. Over here we have our chocobo stables. On the left is mine, and on the right is one of my free company members. And here's a little nice little lamp post, so they have some light so they don't get scared of the dark. Over here we have our other plot for gardening, which I haven't used it yet. Here we have my favorite area. The nice large garden pond with the little bamboo set up here. The Sahagan plants on the side to give it that pond like feeling. We have the benches on each side of the uh, stepping stones. And over here we have our Leviathan um, fountain, not the one that spurts water, but the uh, cheaper one. Over here we have our laundry. And our striking dummy is over here next to our aetherite and no gold mare box. I chose uh, red for the house because I love red. And uh, yeah, that's the yard. So let's go in and I'll show you inside. First, this is the main hall. Above the door, we have the Megalodon skeleton jaws. A little hat stand to put our hats that we never take off. A little doormat. And uh, I guess I'll start. I guess I'll start with the right side of the room. I have little dragon uh, lamps on the ground. They're from the Moogle tribe in Zenith. I have the little planters on the side. Our little ruby and sapphire uh, music box on top of our clay sideboard. Over here is our little, I guess, sitting area slash waiting room. And over here, we have my office. This is my desk. Everything from the old house has been moved to this one. Except I don't have the behemoth trophy in the wall, it's the emerald. Over here we have my Art Deluxe um, Manor Fireplace with my beautiful fish that I caught. And we have our little side table with the beautiful roses that we grew. Over here is my free company's desk, member's desk. Um, I made it especially for her and she decorated it to her, her own style. Over here we have our Aether Wheel, company uh, chest, bookshelf, summoning bell, all the bells and whistles on the alpine chandelier, which I love. Over into the staircase, we have our manservant, our statues of our lord Bahamut, and over here we have another 
pot for growing whatever we want. Over here we have the living room area, the planters, make, look, make, looking very nice. We have our manor um, piano and stool. Over here we have our little toy box, another blade sideboard. We have another dining table with our wonderful colorful flowers. Again, I love red, so red seems to fit, right? Couches, chairs over here, a little, little bookshelf, a bunch of little knickknacks and books. Um, I chose the uh, the floral wallpaper because it looks somewhat like stuff for the uh, Hawk Manor and the Hawk Manor floor, which I think I will definitely love how they added. Um, and so uh, I guess we'll start with the basement first. Next, more dragon lamps. Okay, so the basement is a banquet hall slash dance room. Over here is where you pretty much will dance, whatever. We have the alpine wall paper and the, uh, I believe that's uh, marble flooring. Again, we have more dragon lamps and partitions to blah, separate the banquet hall and the dance floor. Over here we have our wonderful, now the second manservant with the orchestrium in the back with a plethora of food to sample and whatnot. Again, the alpine chandeliers to give that ambiance. Uh, definitely love how I set the tables with the manor stools, the candles and everything. It's very elegant, I'm very proud of it. back upstairs we will head to the second floor on the top of the stairs we have our mascot slash lord and savior of the free company Bahamut and his little statues on the side of them all floor lamps over here we have a little sitting area with alpine chair and uh, table with the dragon pot plants over here or pots for uh, growing for whatever over here we have the deceased Lord Hoshaphon, the deceased Louis Swa, God rest his soul, and Mifri who is with the Mother Crystal at the moment. Over here we have the dining room, nice wall clock, clock. Um, dining table with the manor high chairs, the food. Been here for a couple months, and over here we have a fire, our little fireplace, a nice little oasis rug in the floor, some nice uh, landscaping of uh, Old Da, I believe, and Gridania. And last but not least is the kitchen, where all our manservants are located. You know, the wine barrels, the fruit, more storage barrels. Here we have our wine um, case. Over here we have our stove, a little towel for, for whatever. Uh, we have here the um, Hawk Manor counter, more floor lamps, and a wine cupboard. And over here we have the Glade cupboard as well. And again, the alpine chandelier to give it that nice dark ambiance. And so that is my free company house update as of 3.3. Again, very proud of it. I decorated all myself. So thank you again for watching and uh, if you have any questions or if you're on Gilgamesh, which I am the server I'm on, if you want to join our free company, feel free to uh, drop a comment on the video, hit me up in game, St. Lionheart, leave an application. Uh, we also have a Facebook page, um, Bahamut's Disciples. Look it up if you guys like to. And I uh, will see you next time.
take care and goodbye.